Hello everyone, welcome to Chine Apparel free online tutorial. Today, I'll be taking us on how to take an accurate body measurement, okay? I have here is my body form. Now, I noticed uh, what prompted me to take this tutorial, I noticed a lot of us make mistakes when we make an outfit. You know, we have problem in our upper bodies when making an outfit. A lot of us, well, after making an outfit, the back of the dress starts to puff. That's because we fail to do what's right. That is, we take, you know, we take the length of the front the same to be the back, which is not supposed to be so. So today, I'll be illustrating, or I'll be showing us, demonstrating what we need to do and how to do it correctly so let's get started so this is my body form and let's assume this is the navel of the body form so i'll be tying a tape or a rope you know um i'm taking it two inches above the navel you know that point where we'll have that tiny waist that's that's our waistline okay that's one thing i want you to really understand but some of us if you don't have the opportunity of tying a rope or you know of getting it you can equally tell your client to like tweet to the right you know that point that sticks in that's where you have length falls so let me demonstrate it here on the dummy so let's assume this is the level of the body form there's not a human being so let's just assume so then we take it two inches above the navel so i'll be tying my tape at two inches above the navel you can tie 1.5 you know or two it's not a standard okay mm -hmm. a lot of us some of us like you know some of us like our half length to be on our navel it's equally okay too you know it's, it's, it's not wrong there's nothing wrong in doing it that way so for me preferably i like my half length above my navel because there's this fitting it gives to your outfits so let me show you something here so after tying your tape after tying my tape above my navel so i'll be taking my half length now i want to show you something so you place your tape on your shoulder you know and you come down you see i have here 16 you know you place your tape again behind that's at the back you see i have here 15. so what i'm trying to tell you now is that yeah the front and the back are not the same now the reason why the front and the back are not the same is because the front we have the bus protruding so it, it increases the measurements you know so that's the that's that for that and then the next thing we also need to note we we'll take our boss point here we'll take our under bust measurement we'll take our full length of the blouse measurement or a top if you're making a top or a blouse then you take your round the bust measurement and when taking all these measurements you take them very firmly Yes, I, the reason why I say very firmly, so that when you make your outfit, when you're done making the outfit, it fits in correctly. And I usually advise my students to always take their measurement twice. Yes, for accuracy. So that's that for the round the bust measurement. We'll go down to the round the under bust measurement. You know, we we'll have the waist measurements. And then the hip measurement. Yes, you'll be wondering why am I taking a hip measurement for a top? Yes, we're taking a hip measurement for a top because after making your top, your measurements, your after making your top, your top sits on your hip. So you need that hip measurement to let it rest. Because just assuming now I just take my measurement, I close it from my waist, my top will not be relaxed. So you need that hip measurement to let your top sits rightly and then another thing you also need to know to you take your shoulder measurement can you see that see our shoulder measurement and then another thing you didn't also take note here we have to take our across the front measurement and a lot of you will be wondering yes why is she taking an across the front measurement sometimes we call it the chest line it's because when we're slanting the arm hole you need this measurement here make sure when you're taking the measurement it doesn't go so deep into the arm hole yes just here let me place it on myself so you see just here okay so that when you're slanting your arm hole it relaxes there okay and uh, another thing i also want to let you know too is our nipple to me to nipple to nipple measurements also known as the boss pan measurement yes 
the reason why we take this is when we are trying to cut our princess that or our boss yeah don't worry as the classes progresses i will tell you other things you need to know and when all these other measurements comes in place and if there's any other thing again i need you to also know on this uh tutorial or on this part of the body measurement I'll call your attention to it. I'll also be dropping a picture of where I have everything all labeled out for you. So you can just save up the picture. It, it makes it easier for you to know where you want to take your measurements. Okay? So thank you very much for tuning in into our, our tutorial. And the next, I'll see you in my next class where I'll be drafting our pencil skirts and I'll be showing you the materials we need to draft the pencil skirt. So we'll know if we're going to be drafting on a paper or on a fabric. And you can also draft on a paper and then transfer it to your fabric. Thank you very much. See you in our next class. Ciao.